Hello friends, hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add dynamic filters based on date, date time and day wise filters and we will see the real test case. In case you missed previous discussion about how to add search panel in any model, please check link is given in description. If you want to learn more about views and search view, you can go to here in playlist. You can see here this playlist Odoo view GUI front end views. You can learn from this playlist. And in case you using this playlist Odoo version 13 and 14 development technical training, then you don't need to use this one. You don't need to follow this one because this is the main Odoo playlist. And here, like old, like you can see here, Odoo's related all the playlist is sub playlist of this main playlist and if you want to learn more about odoo plus some python tips you can just go to here also you can support this channel using this join button and there is a very minimal minimum charges and plus if you want to need any help you can just contact via this email and let's back to our main topic like how we can add dynamic filters based on the date date related operations here first like we need to understand like why we need these filters here like let's say there are many people's working in this platform and we're having like different designations right with different user access rights so let's say i'm a back office and i want to see let's say how many students created today so i want to always go to here and i have to choose here the specific field name which is the create on and i have to apply today's date right so today date is 3rd august 2021 and i have to apply like this and you can see currently there is no any record found so for example any other user just trying to create any profile here like student profile something like this like school is IIT and if they go to here like let's say I'm going to again in filter and trying to add like create on date and like after like this date if I will check you can see here the one profile created and I can see here but instead of doing like this operations I want to simply add here one simple filter like current today's date automatically adjusted by Odoo and if I click here it will automatically display this record so how we can implement like this way it is very easy but you need to remember this operations because might be in future you have something related this such filters right so let's say in sales part or purchase part or in invoice part like we need to see like how many invoices created by today so we need at least one filter right here then after like i want to see like last seven days how many sales order or how many invoices created so i can just use here simple filter instead of doing like manual work like this like they have to select the specific filters here like as a date and let's say i'm new in odoo so might be I need some basic understanding about the filters and all but let's say they can just go to here and they can apply here it would be very easy right so might be such cases you will face in future also so you have to remember like this situations like in this situations what we have to do like is like Odoo provides a dynamic date or date and fields like how can I display like only last seven days records here so we will cover all this real test case today so let's move to our first test case like how we can add only date operations here right like today's date only how we can add that filter here and let's say by mistakenly any user refresh the page you can see here the whatever they used previous filters it's automatically clear so we need to add like some permanent solutions here so let's do how let me go to in backend side 
let's open our favorite views like views.xml file and you can see here like last search view discussion we already created how to create this search view and we are always using this filter and we are just trying to upgrade our module that's it so in case you missed such filters like how we can add please check previous discussion so you will get all the ideas here now let's back to our main topic like how we can add the date related operations current like for example today's date so here like we need to add like field then after field which name is the create underscore dat so whenever you create any record Odoo automatically stores the create time timestamp in this field create underscore dat might be you aware but if you don't aware about this one then Odoo automatically create five different types of fields for each and every models so I already explained this one like how many fields it's created and what is the purpose we all you can also see in the playlist so I'm not talking about much more but we will see like how we can add current date so let's say string current sorry today date like let's say today records and here oh sorry uh, we need to use here filter instead of the field and here like we have to use domain parameter like same as like the roll number in list view in tuple and here like we need to give domain as a create underscore that then after greater than equal to and here so here we need to call one method the name is context underscore today like this but if you are using directly like this way might be Odoo raise the error okay, and close the tag here and in terminal like let's say school underscore student we need to upgrade this module and let's see so it successfully upgraded the module but let me go to in front end side and refresh the patch it successfully refresh now I'm going to here and you can see today records if I click here you can see this error rise from the JS side so this is might be very complicated like why such error rise you can't see that you can't see such errors in backend side right so here like what we have to do is like here like we need to typecast this date and time related operation here like why this filter is not working in front end side because this context underscore today like this method always return the date and time related instance so we need to typecast into a string in a in a specific format so here like we need to apply one more thing is to typecast only like here like we need to use str f time and here like we need to add the specific format like why 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 stands for the year full year like 2020 uh, sorry 2021 then after percentage sign small m m stands for the month and we need to always add as a integer format like one two three four five six like that and here like we need to use like percentage d d stands for the days like one two three till 31st all right so we need to convert the date and time related instance to a simple string with this format only and then like this filter always work so let's do like let's go to in terminal uh, restart the service plus upgrade the module let me go to in front end side close this error pop-up message and trying to refresh the patch 
now if I click here you can see this record visible only one record and let's say if I am going to here and trying to add one more student add student to profile and let's say I'm just using this school for and I'm going to here in the list view you can see like two records found so like user can easily access such filters using date related operations so let's say tomorrow is a 4th October so we don't need to always go to here in advanced search in add custom filter and always need we need to file such query right like four and after four and we need to apply here so we don't need to do like this Odoo automatically handle this operations like today's date so you can see like this way you can add today's record but yes make sure like your field should be a date or date uh, date and time field otherwise it will rise the error let's say you want to see here like uh, last five like last five or seven days record so what basically we are doing is like created on in between we are using this operator obviously and today is the this date so we are just using this time also this one this is also very important for the date and time related operation so here like this is the first so we need to filter like seven days right so this is the current date is one two three then after four five six and this is the seventh so i have to click here 28 july 28 july to 3rd october i need to know like how many students created so i'm just going to here and click to this apply button and now you can see like total three stu students created right so user can easily see like this way but here we can add one more filter here with date related with days related so this is our second test case like how we can add date plus day related operations here so simple like what we are doing in the python side so same thing we need to apply in the xml side that's it so let me close this terminal filter name create that like like let's say here seven day filters then after string this week student this week records and here we need to apply the same thing like create date greater than and equal to and here like we need to apply like this now like we need to also add one more thing is the day like how many days we need to minus like let's say six days we can minus plus the current day it means like the total total days we can just subtract from this current date is six uh, seven days so here like we need to add plus and here like date and time dot time delta and here simply we need to use like minus 6 why we add minus 6 so we deduct from our current date till minus 6 date so total we can get like 7 days records here and we need to do is like we need to first convert like this after like we need to always give a specific format like strf time and here 
like we need to add the specific format like y percentage m percentage d that's it and let me close this tag also let me go to a terminal restart the service plus upgrade the module i'm going to in front end side and trying to refresh the patch you can see here like one more filter add so this week records if i click here you can see like total three records found and if i manually filter with the descending you can see also like this record is created like 25th july right so let me also change this create date from the database today is a third so we need to always go to the back like this is one two three like one two three four five six and the seven so till 28 we can see like till 28 july to 3rd july record we can see in the list view using that filter but if if any record founds under this 27th july then we cannot see that one so first we will uh, so first i will add 28 july to make sure like our filter is working as expected or not so let me go to here in terminal like it's a psql minus d database name sorry select id create that from school underscore student where id equal to 324 but let me confirm okay to 324 and let me add let me modify that create that field equal to where id equal to 324 and here instead of this 25 we can use like 28 okay it's updated let me go to here in front end side like refresh the page and let me click to this filter now you can see like we have four records here now let me add like 20 instead of this 28 like i'm just trying to replace with 27 and refresh the page let me click to this filter and you can see that record not found so it means like our filter working as expected so like 20 if we account from the 28 to third today is the third august so like one two three four five six and seven seven days filter is working So like this way you can also add day related operations. Let me minimize this one. So I hope you understood like how we can use date and date time related operations plus we can also add here the day related operations using like this. In case you have any doubt related such filters, please comment below and see you in next session.